Okay, this is the final and I'm on second on the grid. And you can see here I'm on the outside coming up the hill. And I actually managed to go around the outside of Ian. And you can see I managed to come out on the outside in the lead. So I was really happy about that. And this is some footage from my friend Shark, who uh, very kindly was shouting, cheering for me, which is really nice. So here we are back in the race that I've been uh, in the lead. So I was thinking, great, excellent, because I really wanted to push it at that first corner and um, try to go around the outside. And Ian was very kind to me. And I've actually got a little bit of a gap to him. So even though I didn't know it at the time, looking at that now, I think, wow, it's wonderful. But then again, coming out of this corner, you can see he's going to gain on me a little bit. And you can see I've got a couple of cart lengths on him coming up the straight, but he's getting ever closer. And now you can see actually that my camera looks different and I'll show you what happened in a second. So actually going around this corner, you can see that the camera flew off. And luckily we had a tether, so it didn't fly off. And you can see in the slow mo that it's there and I went over the curb and bang, it came off. Fortunately, the, uh, the camera actually survived um, and I was able to use my backup camera, which is on the nose cone. So even though this camera doesn't look so great, uh, it really helps us keep the rest of the race. So you can see there, Ian is behind us still and he's getting ever closer. And then coming out of this corner, I didn't do the best exit and he comes up you could just see him gaining on me and I knew he was going to come down the inside so I gave him a little bit of space because I didn't want to run into him and also he was pretty kind to me at the first corner so I just tried to slipstream him at this point right up behind him but just not close enough and then you can see Dan passing David Wood and now my aim was basically just to be as close to Ian as possible and I felt like for this first lap behind him, I felt pretty comfortable. I'm thinking, you know what? I could go a little bit quicker than this. I could. I felt like I could stay with him here. But there we go, losing a little bit out of that corner, so that's not good. And then coming out of here. Yeah, not too bad, but you can see he's getting away a little bit. Let's see how far he is at the end of the straight. So there you go, so you see by the end of the straight, he's really starting to get some space on me there. So that wasn't too good. So I guess that's where my problem is. There we go. So we got Dan, David, and John Reynolds, and then Dylan. So here we are, just trying to stay with Ian as much as I can. I don't think I'm losing that much out of the slow corners. I feel like it's really just from the hairpin in front of the pits. Somehow, by the end of the straight, I'm just a little bit too far behind. So maybe I need to change the gearing again a little bit, but anyway. It still feels quite fast. Yeah, and then I started to actually suffer with... Um, in this heat, it was a bit frustrating, but I felt like as I came around that third corner onto the third straight, that my engine was cutting out a little bit. So this sometimes happens with the Rotax, with the um, with the carburetor. So if the carburetor's not clean, it does tend to get a little bit, a little bit um, slow. So yeah, that was a bit frustrating. I actually felt a little bit disappointed at this point, actually, because I felt like I really, really, really wanted to see if I could stay with Ian in this race. Um, but have a listen to it here. That one's okay. And then coming through here, it's normally flat. Yeah, you can hear it's really like slowing down there. Anyway, so there's me in second. We got um, we got Dan, David, John, and then Dylan. Dylan's doing really well to hold on, I think. And then we've got we've got Nick and Marco, I think, and then Mo. So Ian hasn't gone that far ahead yet, but. Yeah, just each lap, I think I'm just losing a little bit on that that third straight. Seems okay there. 
yeah you can see how much the revs are dipping anyway again I'm pretty much in the same position I was last time a gap behind and a gap in front and then we can see this is Marco I believe and then Nick and then Mo and then uh, here I am around the other side of the circuit and once again Ian's just pulling away this is deja vu Oh, I think Dan and David are having a really good battle here. Yeah, the circuit is all about just being really smooth, that's for sure. And you can hear on the camera, which is really interesting, when I'm on the throttle and when I'm off the throttle. So I think that's one of the things I need to work on a bit more too, is to get on the throttle a little bit more, and so that the speed doesn't drop off like it does. Oh god, you can hear it there, really, really cutting out. Because it should be flat at that corner. Here we go, there's David. Oh, David's gone down the inside. So that was really interesting. So, they're having a really good battle. And you can hear coming into this corner, I tried to put the throttle on even on the entry to the corner to get to stop the revs from dropping down. So that's been really good. Oh, and you can see this guy's spun off. He's done a complete 360. I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye and nearly went off myself. And then he comes back on in front of the other guys. So that was really hairy. That could have been really difficult. I um, was very lucky to miss him there. So that was chaos averted, which is really good. Really just counting down to the end of the end of the event here. Comfortable in second, but um, would have really loved to have gotten a little bit closer to Ian. But quite frankly, I'm a bit surprised that the guys behind didn't catch up because of my issues and I think it's because they're squabbling. Because they've been fighting, they haven't been able to catch me as quickly as they probably would have. Oh, you can see that guy's going off again at that corner. Dylan's doing a really good job to hold on, to be honest. As I said, he hasn't had many laps here, so I think next time he's going to be right up the front. God, I'm staying on the throttle the whole way around there, you can hear. But, yeah, I think I need to be a little bit closer with the, the curve on the other corner. Now, what lap are we on? There we go, so Ian's passing medium now. Because medium, medium races race on the same race, but they just go, um, you know, 30 seconds ahead of us, or 15 seconds ahead of us. So hopefully that'll slow him up a bit. So we've got one lap to go, and I'm hoping that Ian's going to get caught up in the traffic and I can catch in a little bit, but uh, maybe I shouldn't hold my breath here, I think. Because I can't even see him at the moment. So that's not good. Let's see where he is around this corner. There you go. You can see he's just coming out of that corner there. And I'm in the hairpin, but no chance being the last lap. Anyway, at least I managed to get second in this race, and my second podium my second trophy uh, at the Oakley circuit so I've got to be happy with that and we'll try to catch in another day so David Dan John there's uh, Dylan 